I just stumbled upon this new project by Facebook and this seems quite interesting. In this video, we are going to locally install this EFM 3D, which is a new benchmark for 3D egocentric perception tasks. EFM 3D primarily accelerates a new class of foundation models rooted in 3D space. So we will install it locally and then we will also run the inference on it. If you are also looking to follow and install the model locally, make sure that you have at least 20 GB of VRAM on hand. Otherwise, it will be very hard to run it. There is an option of running a smallish model with 10 GB of VRAM on NVIDIA RTX 3090. And I will also show you how you can do that. Before I go forward, let me introduce you to this Agent QL, which is um, sponsoring this video. Agent QL is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly, easily, and at scale. Use the Python SDK to run your queries in production using Playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page. Agent QL is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. Okay, so let's go back to this EFM 3D. And the thing is that the advent of all of these variable computers enable a new source of context for AI that is embedded in egocentric sensor data. This egocentric data comes equipped with fine-grained 3D location information and so presents the opportunity for a new class of spatial foundation models that are rooted in 3D space. And that is where this EFM 3D comes very handy. EFM 3D stands for Egocentric Foundation Model, which is a benchmark with two core 3D egocentric perception tasks. You must be wondering what exactly is meant by this egocentric here. So in this scenario or context, egocentric is referring to a perspective or a viewpoint that is centered around the individual wearing the device, typically a wearable a computer or sensor, egocentric sensor data captures the world from the wearer's point of view. That is what it is doing. For example, if I scroll through this project, you will see that here, these are the egocentric one where it is doing the bounding box detection on the right hand side. And above it is doing the 3D surface reconstruction. They have some other examples um, from their a page which you can see here and I will drop the link to it in video description. For example, you can see it's a new real world uh, validation data set with high quality 3D OBB annotations. And then similarly, we have some ARIA synthetic environments as you can see here. This is a new annotation for ARIA digital twin where you can use this to reconstruct the space in 3D and that is what uh, it is doing at the moment. So. Let's go and try to get it installed all locally and then we will see how it works. Also, let me thank Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. Mast Compute is also running this Hacktober 2024 Fest. If you want to win $100 in free GPU compute credits, you can simply uh, generate a text from any LLM or generate image from LLM or both and then make an entry by just going to this website which is Mast Compute Generative AI Hacktober 2024. Okay, so let me take you to my terminal where I'm running this Ubuntu 22.04 and I have this GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. First step, what we need to do is to git clone the repo of this EFM 3D and I will drop the link to it in video description that is done. And then let's create a virtual environment with the help of this Conda. And it is going to create this virtual environment, install everything that is there. So let's wait for it to finish. It is going to take a couple of minutes because it installs Torch and few other stuff. Conda environment is created. Let's activate it. And you will see that now it is activated and we have stepped into it due to this parenthesis on the left hand side. Let's clear the screen. Okay, now let's download the model and then put it in this local directory. 
In order to download the models, first make sure that you have a directory called as ckpt. So do ls-ldr, go to ckpt here, do ls. So there is nothing in there, which is okay. Let's go to the project page. Let me click there. Let's wait for it to load. So this is our project page. Let me scroll up quickly. I think my internet is struggling a bit. Okay. So at the top of this project page, just click on this um, jump to EVL model. And then you would just need to put in your email address. So let me put it and then click on access the model. And you can see that now you have this download model weights and data click here and it is start uh, it will start downloading this zip file so let's wait for this file to get downloaded it is just close to one gig in size and then you would need to copy this file to this ckpt directory which i just showed you so let's wait for it to finish downloading it is still in progress so the download is complete let's open that folder or directory let's cut it from here let me go to that directory of this uh, project which is this efm 3d and then in then ckpt just paste it here and you can unzip or extract here and you can see that now we have this model these two model files so if you have 10 gb of uh, vram you can go with this model light otherwise you can go with the full one okay so that is done let's go back to our terminal and then just go to the root of this repo now in this root of the repo make sure that you have set this permission which is executable because if you run it and you will see that there are uh, there is this uh, there are a couple of shell scripts so make sure that you have set the proper instruct uh, permissions so i have just made it executable so next step what we need to do we need to run this prepare inference that is going to prepare the model it is going to verify that you have the model in the right place so let me run it so it is running it saving it so let's wait just press capital y here it is inflating it and that is all done let me clear the screen now in order to run the inference all you need to do is to run this command this is just going to use this video data and then this sequence and then uh, run the inference on it so you see that it has constructed the dino v2 model and then it is checking it loading the model and then going through the motions and now it has started that obb writer so let's wait for it to finish and obb writer is simply an object binding box so that you in the 3d space you can draw bounding boxes on the detected objects Is going through the image and then finding all the semi dense points. And this semi dense point terminology is primarily a representation of 3D point cloud where the points are sampled at a density lower than the full density. And points are still densely distributed across the scene but with gaps between them. And there you go and it has saved our output video here in this sequence sample so let's check it out i'm just going to grab this path and then we will go to this video and see what is there let me open that and this is the video it has created so let me play it let's wait for it to open and there you go you see on the left hand side we have this scene and then it has created a 3d scene out of it let me play it again let me just move it that bit here there you go all the bounded boxes are here on the right hand side this is a snippet prediction how good is that really really cool stuff very impressive and if you really look at this 3d point 
clouds in the semi dense one it has perfectly aligned with all the objects especially here you see it has detected which is a chair which is a cabinet it is moving through the camera as it moving both on the left and right let's have a quick look finally you see at the right hand side it is detecting everything as it moves through it the whole uh, space so really good stuff very impressive i would say uh, if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching